thanks for coming by. You'll see Ruby is transfixed. I bet you she will not move the entire time. And there's a reason for that. Do you want to see why? <laughs> there's a hamster right there. <laughs> hamster! Hagrid is a little lump and he's hilarious. He's like... Imagine a walnut that's like twice, like, just imagine a walnut that's Hagrid. Like, he's a walnut and he's this round, as he is tall, or two inches tall, two inches wide, so he's literally like a little beach ball hamster. Hamster to the subject because I have so much to talk about. And I'm really excited because, um, my book is not only done, and I know I've been talking about my book for a thousand years, but I have it in my hands, so I just wanted to share it. I'm really, really happy with it, and I'm really excited about it. It has 11 patterns that are already released online, so some of the kind of great, greatest hits kind of stuff. I never thought I'd have a greatest hits knitting book. That's hilarious. I was just going to put out a record and but like have it be my first album and then just call it Greatest Hits. That would be kind of funny. Um... But anyway, uh, 11, or 10 new patterns in it as well. So I'm going to peek. Ooh, do, 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 do. It's quite sweet. They put little, like, you know, borders on there. The designer was awesome. And so I'm really, really happy with it. And um, it's out September 26th. So you can pre-order it now. Um, this is the back of the UK cover. This is my friend Natalie May. Look at her. I mean, do you just die? I mean, is she just, she's unreal. And as beautiful as she is, that's what she is inside. You can just actually look at this picture and feel her just radiant beauty, energy, and love and everything. Oh, I could not say enough about her. But anyway, she's wearing one of my prized possessions from the book. And they're so, 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 so easy. I'll explain how to do it, because that's what I do for a living. <laughs> I make stuff and then I tell you how to do it. On to other things. I have a new pattern, and it is nine pages long, but it's not hard. Remember my woodsies that I made, and I made the little charms? The idea was obvious immediately that I wanted to make a charm bracelet with magical creatures charms on them so it's called the care of magical creatures charm bracelet because as you knit them you're caring for all the magical creatures now charm bracelets are about memory they're memories they're not about you know just buying charms you know you remember each one so I felt it was really important to make each one personal so they're actually like merit charms each one has a task associated with it that you can do to help to care for yourself or the world the environment your friends your family um, your pets and so each charm you do you're doing something to care for someone else and then you have a memory and then after you do it you can knit the charm so it's like girl scouts or boy scouts where you're like you know get a badge for doing something but I'm sorry I was a girl scout and I would like go in my room and of course I wanted every single badge and I would like look up and be like what can I do like while I'm laying in bed you know like no 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 go go somewhere volunteer nope go da 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 nope get up get out of bed nope nope no nope. like I was like <laughs> I was not a very active <laughs> child but um so I made the tasks pretty easy so do you want to hear more about the bracelet okay let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see Ooh. okay oh okay oh, where do I start okay so this is the phoenix feather and for the phoenix feather you have to forgive someone um so you write down their name on a piece of paper and then you burn it and then you know, you say, I wish for them everything I've ever wanted. And then you rise from the ashes of your forgiveness. So that's quite a big task. But once you do it, you can knit the phoenix feather. Um, this is the hippogriff feather. Um, so 
Before you knit that, you have to let someone go ahead of you in line. And I mean, like, the extra credit is you have to bow like a hippogriff when you do it. So you have to be like, go ahead. <laughs> bow like Buckbeak Baby. Um, I think that one's pretty funny. This is a mermaid's egg because they care for um, lost eggs. And for that, you have to um, cut up your plastic rings before you throw them away and cut up plastic bags and stuff so that you don't trap any sea life inadvertently. Um, so they're just kind of like carrying little tasks you can do and then you can be like, I made the world a better place one charm at a time. Um, this one is one of my favorites and it's the mandrake charm. <laughs> oh my gosh, and he actually has ears. Wait, hold on. I can't see what I'm showing you. This is terrible. There we go. Look, he has little ears. Beetle, beetle, beetle. <laughs> thing about mandrakes is they just scream and whine and complain so the task for the mandrake charm is to stop complaining for 24 straight hours and if you complain you have to start from scratch so I was like I'll be fine I could not complain for a week right I started this task I think like it's been a month <laughs> I haven't made it yet and guess what I haven't made it more than four hours. I couldn't believe it. Mr. Al works from home as well, so he, um, he's he been keeping me accountable and he's, you know, quite observant. And he's like, is that a complaint? You know, I'll come upstairs and be like, oh, it's really hot in here. I'd be like, is that a complaint? And, like, ah. and I know saying, we, we had a philosophical dis discussion about, you know, or we got a bit philosophical as far as like, how we could bend the rules of complaint, but a complaint is expressing displeasure in something. So even like that can actually be a complaint. Uh, do I think all complaining is bad? No, I don't. Sometimes you have to blow off some steam and of course you have to blow off steam, but um, give it a shot just because it reveals a lot. I learned how often I complain approximately every four hours, three to four hours, and what I complain about the weather or how, how hot I am or how cold I am. <laughs> three or four hours I'm either too hot or too cold and I will tell everyone like people don't need to hear that like I don't need to walk up the stairs and be like oh it's hot or oh it's cold I can just walk over to the thermostat or put a sweater on or adjust it and you really notice what you're complaining about and uh, whether it changes you or not doesn't you know it's up to whatever but more chimes anyone <coughs> Ooh. The antlers, the um, the stag antler, let something go, you know, just like antler stags have their antlers, and you know they use them to get the ladies and um, to fight their their weapons, and um, they just let them go when they don't need them anymore. They just fall right off every single year. So that's about letting something go. There's more information in the pattern, obviously. I try not to make a novel, but you know each one has a paragraph about the sim symbolism and then, you know, the, the, the suggestion. That's a will-o'-the-wisp, and that involves um, your destiny. And the idea is that, um, you know, will-o'-the-wisps will lead you, you know, they're little sort of ghosty lights in the mist, and they'll lead, they'll lead you one at a time. But they never all appear at once. So when you're starting to work on your dream or on a big project, and you get overwhelmed, it's about like focusing on each wisp one at a time, and you have to almost complete the first one before the next one appears. So there's a task involving that. And then this is the owl. I'll let you read about that task. And, well, this is my favorite, look. Shut up, okay. What is going on there? It's a little tiny frog, look. Can you even see how tiny that is? It's a little spring hopper. What's going on there? Um, dragonfly, transformation. Oh, each charm has a keyword. I know, I overdo things. Um, that's a goblin crown. That's beautification. Um, the gnome charm is friendliness. The, this is the bird's nest charm. And I can't remember what that is. Why can't I remember that one? Oh, that's such a good one. Okay, that's offering. Um, here is the dragon tail charm. It's really a puff the magic dragon tail, isn't it? 
Um, that one's about friendship. This is a vial of acromantula venom. And that one is about respect, respecting creatures. And last but not least, in any way, shape, or form, is the unicorn horn. The unicorn horn. And I'll let you read that task too. That one's really special, especially. So, you know, I couldn't stop making these, and there are a lot more, but. 15 fit perfectly, so I stopped at 15. Also, it just gets to be too much. You know, I had a lot more charms, and um, but I think 15 is just the right amount to have your on your little <laughs> pair of magical creatures charm bracelet. Now, other ideas. Um, I thought it'd be so so cute to make them into garland you know, and string them, or you could do like just the owl, or you can make earrings, or a necklace, or like sun catchers, like present toppers, um, pins, rings, like, oh, I want a mandrake ring, right? Let's just stick it up, imagine, right? So, there's so many uses for them, you don't have to do the charm bracelet idea if you don't want to. So, let's talk about the bracelet. Um, the charm bracelet itself it took me a while to come up with how I was going to get these charms on a bracelet because at first I was like thinking maybe something like this you know this was only a dollar at Hobby Lobby actually but they all kind of crammed together and then I thought a chain but the chain didn't have that like mobile quality that I really like about the <gasps> you could make a mobile a mobile 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 I'm kind of messed up from living in so many different places. I actually don't know what it's called, but you know the little thing you hang over a baby's crib or your own bed because I'm all about them. That would be so cute. You could even do just like just one of them or something like that. Anyway, this is just a cheap bangle with a single crochet all the way around it. And then you can attach the charm jump rings into that. There's a picture in the pattern of how to do it. You know, you grab the yarn and bring it through. You could even do a series of knot, knot work or you could wrap it. Anyway, these little cheap bangles, you can find at any sort of dollar store, accessory store, Claire's, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, wherever, online. They're super duper cheap. And I just took one of these and crocheted around it. And then that way they kind of stand apart from each other. I got props. I got props. Okay, don't tell anyone I did that. So, oh, there's got to be so much more that I need to tell you. Do you want to see my teapot? What is going on? It's a little elephant. My little tea cup. My little tea cup has a little rabbit on it. It's really cute. Okay. Well, I think that does it for me. <clears throat> Seriously, I actually think it's disturbing her. Um, psychologically. Really? You love Hagrid? Yeah, but you guys want to see Hagrid, don't you? Let me see if I can wake him up. That's the worst thing you can do to your hand with a star, but I'm gonna do it. I want my tea. And Ruby is ever interested. That doesn't actually show how cute he is because you can't actually see him. He's so tiny. Anyway. So that's it for me. I hope you have a really good time making these charms and sharing them and swapping them and putting them as earrings and playing with them. Oh, and the other idea I had was that for practice, you could make them with bigger wool and bigger needles so that you'd have like kind of bigger ones and then they'd be like little stuffies that you could just like <laughs> have around like care of magical creatures basket with them all sitting in there like for this one I did this. So that's an option if you hate um, tiny needles. Also, I suggest perhaps knitting them in larger needles if you've never worked on tiny deep pans in the round before, so you can get some practice.
Thanks for stopping by and watching this Mondo video. Um, September 26th, this comes out. I hope you like everything. I'll do a big video and we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And um, yeah, and, and happy charming. And I love you so much. Rebecca just stopped by, so I wanted to introduce you guys to her. She's amazing, and she's been assisting me and helping me organize my nest and get all the feathers in order and do some all kinds of stuff, haven't yeah. you? And some pattern testing and some knit things and go, oh, this isn't working. <laughs> I need to start from scratch, which is invaluable. Do you want to try it on? Yes, I do. She was here at the inception of the idea, and um, we did some of the other ones. Whee! Do you think you'll do the tasks? I think I'll do every single one of them. <laughs> do you think you'll be able to do the mandrake task? Let's see. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I haven't no. been able to do it if yet. If you can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> you can. You're much more positive than me than I think. I complained about making my bed this morning, which is why I'm off for today. I didn't make my bed this morning. But did you complain about it? <laughs> nope. You're fine then. <laughs> You're fine. So... I'm kind of thinking that, like, you know, another round of them, like, term pack two will be stacked, so you just have two of them. Year one, year two, year three, three. year four, year five, year six. Okay, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> Which one do you like the best? This guy. The oh, little tiny Oh, that was easy. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to have a little squeaker inside. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Or like, you know those cards that you open up and they start playing songs oh, and then yeah. each one has a different song like, I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd have to be songs that like relate to the task, like, I clean up trash. <laughs> I let people go ahead of me in line. <laughs> okay, in another world, thank you. <laughs> so, um, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. It's so hot in here. I believe I can fly. I let people go ahead of me in line. And I don't even mind that I can't stop complaining all the time. No, I can't stop I complaining, I baby. I let people go ahead of me. Go ahead of me, and baby. I don't even mind that I can't stop complaining all the time. No, I can't stop. I can't stop I Oh, um, oh, um, my costume? It's Buckbeak? It's from Harry Potter, you wouldn't understand. Cause I am a hippogriff.